Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None are relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none are relied upon as any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. Welcome to 2024. Happy New Year. Happy Chinese Lunar New Year coming up and what will be an incredibly interesting movement in equities overall. I'm gonna talk broadly for the first video of the year too, because just be aware, 40% of the global population this year will see some form of politics involved in their overall markets, as 40% of the global population goes to elections. The biggest ones being players like the UK and the US with their prime ministership and presidential elections. Watch that space. For us here in Australia, that happens next year, so keep that as well in your mind. But what does that mean for equities? What does it mean for the markets this year? That is what we wanna talk about because we are also, when we're at the start of a new year, we're talking about half year earnings for our market. And so far, it's going to be a really fascinating thing because the ASX 200, to finish off 2023, really drove to basically the high of the year with two days to go, fell a little bit by de December 30, but overall, it's there and it's where it's gone that's also fascinating. You look at CBA, CBA is at a record all-time high of above $115 a share. Every analyst out there has either a neutral or a sell rating on it, and it hasn't had a buy rating on it since 2022. Take that as you will. Most people also believe that banking stocks were going to severely underperform, and they haven't done that. So we need to watch out very clearly. CBA is the one they report early in February, and they are probably gonna set the tone for everything else that's out there. Because if they can show that they are riding the 13 rate rises better than expected, that they're growing their business, that new loans are still happening despite the slowdown, then maybe it'll justify the price. I'm not so sure, but keep in mind on that. The next one to also have a look at with regards to that space is the resources. They've been a little bit tricky over the last sort of three months of 2023. And looking into earnings, the thing that's interesting about it, you look at Rio, you look at BHP, they've just told you they are on track for record numbers of output with iron ore out of Port Hedland. So you look at Rio, 338 million tonnes was done in 2018, and at their quarterly production update, they're at 318 with one quarter to go. They're gonna beat it, they're gonna do that. So watch that space, BHP told you something similar. But it's not all sort of you know cotton candies and happy dories with regards to resources. Nickel is something that's facing some real challenges, along with lithium. You look at copper too, there's a shortage of copper globally, but geopolitical issues are fixing up. So watch the resources space as they justify what will be a very interesting year. The China story on one hand, but then overall sort of structural issues inside it. Healthcare is another one. CSL has been doing some incredible lifting, and as always, their results will be very, very telling. Over the last five years, results day for CSL has seen on average the company move plus or minus 5% or more. In fact, sometimes it's even as much as 10. So their results are always quite exciting. And overall in the last two years, it's been slightly negative purely for the fact that they are starting to you know, wind back dividends or they've started to remove their growth story. But it's still an incredible play and they are showing you why they are the behemoth they are. Then we get to look into staples and discretionary. Last year, it was the story of discretionary. They did an incredible job and we watched something like Car Group, you look at JB Hi-Fi and what they did versus somebody like Harvey Norman, which went the complete opposite way. And you look at also other online providers that didn't have the same level, but overall it was good. Staples were flat for Woolies and Coles, but dragged by things in alcohol. Look at Endeavor Group, down 20%, got smashed off the back of them having bickering internally. So that's where we also look. So this is going to be an interesting calendar year and we get to start with half year 24 numbers and that is what's gonna come up in February, gearing up for what will be a big, big year. I'll be talking to you through it the entire time.